All Nintendo video games are rated by the Entertainment Software Ratings Board and carry one of the following age-appropriate ratings. For additional information on game ratings, visit the ESRB at ESRB.com. Welcome, you lucky, lucky game freaks. I'm Steve Sobel, and this is a very special edition of Nintendo's Hot News 64, the all-you-can-eat buffet of insider news on the hottest game system in history, and I guess I must be talking about N64! Right on. Right on. Now, everybody knows N64 just keeps getting bigger and better and more amazing, while the other guys are going like, hey, Nintendo, hey, can I be like you? Wait, hey, let me catch up. You want to go get a soda or something? Sorry, guys. N64's always got the games, and I'm here to prove it. Keep watching, and you're going to get an insider look at the stealth game of the year, the outrageous new sci-fi adventure, Jet Force Gemini. You'll get an inside peek into the brain-shattering 3D world of Donkey Kong 64. Oh, crush me, big monkey, crush me! And you're gonna get an in-your-face preview of more incredible new N64 titles than you can stuff into the pockets of those cargo pants you've been wearing for the last four days. But first, you're probably dying to point out to me, dude, it's like the outside of the tape, like totally promised like hot tips and cool codes, like what up with that, Steve? Well, I'm here to provide. Direct from his hit column in Nintendo.com is Mr. Insider himself as Dan. Dan's image has been digitally altered to protect his secret identity. Well, thanks, Steve, for respecting my authority. Let's go to the emails. An N64 player who's currently watching this program writes, is it true that you're going to make an exception to your normal rule and give out codes on this videotape? And how can I find the Triforce? Signed, Link1. Well, Link1, if you're the Link that Dan thinks you are, you should know better than to ask. But here's a hot tip for the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. As an adult, return to the Lost Woods with the Begoron Sword equipped. Destroy the Lone Skull Kid with the Begoron Sword and you're gonna get a giant rupee worth 500 rupees. You can do that over and over again as many times as you want. But I'm not gonna be doing it because that's the last time Dan's giving out any more codes. Unless I decide to give one for Star Wars Racer later in the videotape. Ooh, I guess that's what's known as a teaser. Okay, they're brave, they're buff, one of them barks, and they're out for justice. This galactic sci-fi adventure through mounds of disgusting aliens is a kaleidoscope of action, lighting, and special effects. And it is from Rare. That's right, Rare. The same guys that brought you GoldenEye, Game of the Year in 97, and Banjo-Kazooie, Action Game of the Year in 98. Woohoo! So strap in, get in, and get funky as Hot News 64 takes you deep inside the splatter be splatter baddest bugs in the universe, science fiction action game of the century. You guys want to see this? Yeah. Well, here it is. The bugs are coming, and it's not in peace. Jet Force Gemini.
that stirring? I'm so stirred, I'm bug chowder. All right, we just saw a fraction of the more than two hours of cinematics in Jet Force Gemini, which proves that visually, the game has got it going on. Okay, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Steve, what about the play action, Steve? Well, sitting with me behind the virtual news desk is Travis Williams, our Jet Force Gemini inside expert from Team Nintendo. Welcome, Trav. Proud to be here, Steve. And we're proud to have you here. Now, what makes Gemini such an original? Talk to us, Trav. Take us inside. Well, Jet Force Gemini is a game that follows in the footsteps the very best that the N64 has to offer. Games like GoldenEye, games like Tractor Dinosaur Hunter, it has a terrific near first person perspective that really serves to pull you into the game. And with 120 stages, you're gonna be there a while. Wow, I don't know about you, but I'd like to see some more. You wanna see some more? Oh, definitely. Are you sure? Definitely. Are you sure? Woohoo! Woohoo! Woohoo, indeed. Let's see some more. Okay, Steve, I've got one word graphics. Check it out. I mean, nobody's ever seen bosses like this before. Now that is amazing. Ooh, ouch, now ooh, that had to hurt. You can really see the mega hours that have gone into the amazing real-time lighting effects, dynamic reflections, and incredible 3D universe just exploding all around you. Ugh, gross. <laughs> this is the dog, Lupus. He's a big leaper. This is Juno. Now you see this? You've got two shooting modes, running and targeting. Watch what happens here. Your character goes transparent, so your point of view basically turns into first person. With this kind of action, you're really gonna need this. This is also a great multiplayer game. Here you've got a two-person cooperative where Floyd the Robot assists you with his weapons, and you've also got some classic four-player battle modes. Hey, that looks really cool. There's a ton of levels, amazing rare graphics, a great storyline. This is one extremely rewarding game to play. In fact, Steve, it's heroic. Woohoo! You weren't kidding. Woohoo! Now, this game is rated T for Team. Well, don't just lie there snacking in a beanbag chair. Go out to your favorite retailer right now and reserve your own copy of Jet Force Gemini. Wait, not this second. First, you want to see Ask Dan give out another freebie, don't you? Okay, but this is the last time, and you're gonna see why. A seriously out of touch dork writes, Dear Dan, please give me all the codes Evar made for every game there ever was, and bring them all to my house as I'm grounded. P.S. Your email. And that's from Game Boy Bob. Well, Bob, just despite you, Dan's going to give everyone else but you this insider tip for Mario Golf. It teaches all players, except Bob, how to access a hidden character. To earn the right to play as Metal Mario, players must win a birdie badge on every hole on every course in tournament mode. Now, there's a little incentive for you. Okay, that's really all. No more tips. Especially not until Bob learns to use spell check. Unless I change my mind and give one more for Racer in a few minutes. Well, he's Ask Dan, but he's not always Answer Dan. But then again, he's Evel. Okay, he's big, he's bad, he's back, and he's still wearing that tie. <sighs> Can you say full-on 3D adventure spectacular? Can you say expansion pack blowout mind-blowing graphics? Another future game of the year from Rare? How about just Kremlings? Looking bad for you guys. I mean it. Your lunch meat, your toast, you're out of there. You're gone to history.
I need an expansion pack for my brain. Yeah, you do. Okay. This is Brian Hartman, our Donkey Kong 64 insider from Team Nintendo. Welcome, Brian. It's nice to be here. It's nice to have you. Where you been, man? I've been hanging out in the jungle. Oh, really? Yeah. Kicking it out there with DK? You know it. Ah. Uh, He's a party animal. He out is there. a party animal. Say, uh, banana? No, I had my fill. Yeah, I'll just I'll keep it here. Yeah, okay, good. Now, besides the astounding graphics, what gives DK64 its special magic? Well, Donkey Kong 64 is the first game that has expansion pack only. Uh, that'll be packed in with the game, and it's got 200 objectives, over 100 different moves, and he brought four friends along, so it's gonna be huge. Wow, so it's the same old DK. Only in 3D. Wow, cool, man. Do you want to see some more? Absolutely. So would I. You know, Do I memories. You know, yeah, oh, memories. God, yeah. Do me a favor, go woo, woo, woo. Woo indeed, let's see some more. So, Donkey and his pal Diddy are back, and they brought some new friends. Tiny, Lanky, and Chunky. In each one of the enormous worlds, there are areas that only one of them can access. So you have to backtrack to open up new play areas, and you have to use their special abilities to collect keys and open new doors. Cool. Basically, there are five ways to play each level, and there are about a hundred character moves. Here's Lanky with a cool one. There are five goals for each character in each of the eight worlds. That's over 200 goals, Steve. Wow. And sometimes, you can even change forms to meet your next goal. That's cool. There's also tons of mini-games within the game for up to four players. I mean, there's boat races, barrel blasting, car racing, more fun than a barrel of, well, you know the saying. And then, how can I rave enough about the expansion pack's effect on the amazing 3D graphics from Rare? You have incredible real-time lighting effects, massive environments, outrageous bosses, just a whole texture quality and volume that we've never seen on the N64. As well as classic characters and a staggering level of gameplay. Steve, this is just one giant gorilla of a game. What else can I say but DK64? And as if all this wasn't enough, get this. The Donkey Kong Country TV show is coming to the Fox Family Channel. You heard me. I said DKC TV. You want more? Okay. Here's a little insider insight from Paramount Home Video. A little drum music, if you please. Get ready for the hippest tape of them all. Look out, you beauties. Here comes Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Country, Legend of the Crystal Coconut. It's the first feature-length 3D animated adventure based on the enormously popular Nintendo game that took an entire generation by storm. This is no wimpy fairy tale. It's a search for the truth. A battle between good and evil. So get ready. You'll go bananas for Donkey Kong Country, Legend of the Crystal Coconut. Available this November on video cassette from Paramount Home Video. Yes, yes, okay, all right. Donkey Kong 64, the game is rated E for everybody and it's here November 24th. But there's big news happening right now at the brand new Toys R Us R Zone, the all encompassing visual shopping experience. So go and look for DK in the feature area. Go, go, go. No, I mean, wait, I mean, wait, 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 wait. Not yet. Okay, ask Dan, last chance to be Steve's friend. And you wanna be Steve's friend, don't you? So give it up. Racer, racer, racer. All right. Man, I hate it when you beg. This basically will allow you to tweak all of the variables of Star Wars Episode One Racer. Now pay attention. Now you're going to have invincibility. You're going to be able to adjust the artificial intelligence level, edit pod racer statistics. Are you satisfied? Thanks, Ask Dan. And good luck with that FBI witness protection program. We're all rooting for you. Now remember, you can check out Nintendo's CodeBank website if you want more cool codes, and Dan can be reached at Nintendo.com, a great place to find out all the news about everything Nintendo. Okay, that's it for this special edition of Nintendo's Hot News 64. Donkey Kong 64 stomps into town this November 24th. Jet Force Gemini splats into your favorite store on October 13th. And we'll see you next time. But. I'm going to leave you with a preview of some of the incredible new games coming from Nintendo and their partners in play.
Roll it, fellas. Now you can go to the store. Go, go on, go to the store. I'm going. I'll see you there. Okay. Bye.